Zachary Dees works as an ER nurse at Beaumont Health System. I just like to see in the emergency room how there's such an immediate gratification to what you're doing. Zach graduated from nursing school back in April, and even though nursing continues to be a woman-dominated field, the 26-year-old believes men can also be great nurses. So there's always the people who are kind of like a little weirded out like that, like, why are you going to be a nurse? Why not be a doctor? It's definitely got stigmas, but it's a great job. Dr. Jason Dunn from Arizona College of Nursing has worked as a nurse for over 20 years. And Jason says the pandemic has not only fueled the demand for nurses, but attracted more men to the profession. It's just really important that our patients see themselves in terms of who they are, their cultures, ethnicities, whether male or female, in the caretakers who are providing care to them. Michigan Public Health Institute's 2020 survey shows that there are over 3,000 male nurses working across the state. Jason says nursing in general offers great flexibility and career paths, but it's the technological side of the job that attracts more men. So really drawn to areas like critical care, high acuity, emergency medicine, flight nursing. According to the American Association of Colleges of Nursing, by 2023, the U.S. will face a shortage of one million nurses. And I believe men coming into the nursing profession is one great way, one strategy to combat some of these nursing shortage projections that we're facing as we move forward. For men, it's even though some people have that stigma, you can just get to the point of realizing you're making a change in so many people's lives being a nurse and working in healthcare, and that makes up for for everything. Now, Jason says nursing will continue to be a woman-dominated occupation for the foreseeable future, but regardless of men or women nurses, both have the same goal, and that is to provide comfort and care to patients when they need it the most, making it one of the most rewarding professions. Reporting from Southfield, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News.